It's been 12 years we had our first competition, our Bright Sparks competition. We had seven projects entered and uh, I remember all of them. We've had all, we've had all sorts of things come into our competition. We've had radio controlled submarines that uh, are actually commercially incredibly expensive but kids have made. We've got a radio controlled motor mower coming in this year. Last year we had a had our first example of artificial intelligence where uh, the student uh, Avalash made a, um, a robot arm that played you at noughts and crosses and uh, it could beat you and that was incredible. Never seen anything like that before. Kids are really inspired by their own needs so we had a young lady from Taranaki who had nine in the family and had an issue with getting in the shower. Uh, and therefore she made a shower timer, which was very effective. We had one student concerned about uh, kids on PlayStation the whole time, so he, he hooked this bike up to this PlayStation power controller and you had to pedal for 10 minutes to get 10 minutes of playtime on the PlayStation and probably regretted it in the end, but certainly got plenty of exercise at the same time as entertainment. A successful project starts with a really good idea and that's not one we can tell anybody what that idea is. There's going to be obstacles along the way and but there's always going to be an answer even if you have to go around the problem rather than directly confront it and get an answer that way. Once they've got the good idea they need the technology to be able to make that possible and that's something we can help them with. I'm very passionate about technology that helps people. I think the next big thing that's coming along is um, integrating um, technology with humans. Uh, in terms of like putting a chip perhaps on your body uh, which can monitor your health and you, you know, tell you if there's something a little amiss. I think that would be a great thing to have. A lot, of, a lot of Bright Sparks who've put in projects have really been inspired and they are completely hooked, totally hooked at that stage. And they go on and do amazing things and not just in New Zealand but internationally as well. We've had one student, Peter, who uh, made uh, a PCB machine out of old printer parts. Now he's got a position at the university at the University of California Berkeley and is a very highly regarded person there. We've got another student who uh, ended up uh, as a manager of a software company in Florida. We've had uh, John as another uh, bright spark who's gone on become pretty much the Southern Hemisphere expert in aerial vehicles. Another student, Brody, has been working in Thailand with Hewlett Packard, working on touchscreens. I could just go on forever. Our bright sparks uh, range from the age of 8 to 28, and they hardly ever resigned. I guess the link is still not quite there with the industry, that we would like them to see the huge potential of this group of young people coming through and to really be competing for them and engaging with them down the line. That's my dream and the dream of every, everybody in Bright Sparks is to make that happen, to create that pathway so that young people who come into the club, they know they're on the first step of a journey to a career that they're really going to enjoy and benefit our country. Probably the worst idea I ever had was converting my car into a from 12 volts to 6 volts so I could get more spark out of the coil and uh, the result of that was that the car basically uh, turned into a lightning bolt under the bonnet and uh, there were sparks everywhere. <laughs>